Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 Security Patch Tuesday updates rolling out for August of this year. And for Windows 11, 22H2 and 23H2, the update for this month is KB5041585. Now the update uh, is a compulsory update uh, because uh, it does include important security fixes. And for this month, we get 55 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. So that's one more than Windows 10. But we still get the same four critical vulnerabilities that we patched on Windows 10 that have also been patched now in both versions of Windows 11. And critical is your highest ranked vulnerability. And then we get 50 important vulnerabilities or fixes that have rolled out and one moderate. Now, just a quick recap um, as to what the four critical are all about. Um, they are um, out of bounds right when rendering certain Unicode sequences. We've got a um, secure boot bypass, and then we've got two remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means a hacker or an attacker can gain access to your system over a network or over the internet. So 55 vulnerabilities patched, four critical, so nonetheless an important security update running out with 5041585. Now, the update will also include improvements that were part of this update. 5040527, which was the July op optional bug fix C release update. So if you didn't install this update, then those um, improvements and fixes will be carried over into this update. Now, I did post a whole video on 5040527, but just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, because it did contain four new features, but go check that video out um, if you would be interested. So quick recap, um, it adds notifications for Windows Share in China. And if we head to our File Explorer, there's right-click uh, duplicate tab support now. That's finally made its way into File Explorer. So if you are using the tab support in the File Explorer on a regular basis, that may be a nice move in the right direction. And then over and above that, um, you can also now drag apps from the pin section in the Start menu. And you can pin them to the taskbar which I think is a nice small little improvement which a lot of users have been happy about. Basic functionality that Microsoft now has brought back into Windows 11. And then you can use taskbar keyboard focus using Win and T. And how what this is all about, if you just use your Windows key and T, and then you enter the first word of the app on the taskbar, as in Firefox, there we go, it'll jump to that app. But go check the video out. I do go a little bit more in depth into these features. And then if we head back to our file explorer and we just head to a file, uh, it also includes the Compress2 archive support. And I actually posted a whole video on how to use the Compress2 archive support and how to zip a file. And I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info. And then over and above that, um, it also improves the file explorer. Um, with reliability by addressing multiple crashes and hangs and updates and over and above fixing those file explorer issues because obviously um, those are important uh, fixes that did roll out. Go check that video out. Over and above that, it addresses um, and updates the logic for the end task option in the taskbar and includes plenty more fixes so that was quite a big um, optional bug fix C release update that did roll out. And those improvements now will be carried over into this update. Now over and above um, those, those improvements th from last month, we also get four fixes. And I did cover these in the previous Windows 10 video, but I'm just going to go through these quickly. First of all, um, they have addressed the BitLocker recovery known issue, which I posted on. And once again, that video will also be linked down below and in the end screen because that was an important known issue that was giving a lot of users a bit of a headache. And a quick recap, basically a BitLocker recovery screen was showing when you start up your device and this was occurring after you install um, the July 9, 2024 update. 
So that would have been this update, KB5040442 for Windows 11. So that's an important fix that's rolled out. And I might post a video on that a little bit more in depth later today. And then we get a lock screen uh, fix where the Use My Windows user account checkbox was not available on the lock screen to connect uh, to Wi-Fi. So that's a niggly little issue that's been sorted out. And then there's a net join legacy account reuse um, fix where the update removes the registry key. And then the fourth and final fix that's part of this latest Apache Tuesday security update uh, is Secure Boot Advanced Targeting and Linux Extensible Firmware Interface. This update applies SBAT to systems that run Windows. So that's more or less um, what's new in the updates. Four new features, security fixes, and a lot of uh, bug fixes that have rolled out. Now, if you are interested um, as to what the builds have been bumped up to, as always, we head to Winver from our search. That's the About Windows menu and dialog. And for Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS build is sitting on 22631.4037. And for 22H2, that's exactly the same point release, but that'll be 22621. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.